three amazing friends in that Nashville Songwriters Association meeting. And I have to say that one of them said, hey, why don't you sing one of your songs? Now, the interesting thing about that experience is all of them write songs on guitar. Before that experience had even occurred, I would have never touched a guitar. But as a result of the hate and bitterness and meanness of my children's mother, the guitar was placed in my hand. The door and the key to the open door for me to play on the Nashville music scene was that experience. Piano players are oftentimes available, but it's really hard to carry that musical instrument to all your songwriter events. The common tool for songwriters is the guitar. Had I stayed bitter, had I stayed reticent, had I stayed angry at the past, I would not have been able to embrace a wonderful future. And I had made some wonderful friends from that experience who were so kind to say, hey, why don't you come with us to Nashville so we can play this contest? Can you imagine a guy that never took a guitar lesson trying to go on a a contest and actually sit there in front of Nashville songwriters and judges? It was a fear, a fear that almost paralyzed But I realized that facing that fear would change my life. Facing that fear would allow me to rise above something that had been holding me back for years. And that is that if circumstances are not perfect, I won't move forward. And newsflash, gentlemen, there will never, ever be perfect circumstances. There will always be the haters in your life. There will always be those who take your instruments that you think are the things of success. There will always be less than optimal choices that you have to make. There will always be moments of despair and discouragement and setback and injustice. There will always be that as long as there's a world full of sin and evil people exist But they are not what defines you. They can never overcome you. You have to determine in your heart that you are greater than your circumstance. You have to determine that. And once you believe it, people will begin to believe it. But it starts with you. Do you need to give yourself a refund? Do you need to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I haven't been giving myself the best life yet. I must change. When you get that answer, when you look in the mirror and you find within yourself the answer to say, I will make a change, that is when life begins anew for you. I'm your host, Kirk Kennedy. This has been Conversations from the Cave. And until next time, love one another. Conversations from the Cave is brought to you by the Alabama Cornea Care Center, Northern Alabama's first irregular cornea, keratoconus, and scleral lens referral center, specializing in the management of degenerative cornea disease and complications resulting from refractive surgery. For more information, you may visit them on the web at alabamacorneacare.com. The Alabama Cornea Care Center, helping patients see the light of the world. Conversations from the Cave is a production of the Provox Media Group. For more information or to share your questions or comments, visit our podcast Facebook page by searching Conversations from the Cave. The views expressed on this program are the personal beliefs of the panelists and do not necessarily represent the beliefs of the Provox Media Group or its sponsors. Join us next time for more real talk from real men. Conversations from the Cave.